Yes, the Tully Dio Show. It is the 8th of July, episode 333. I think that's a mystical number, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty weird. Like 333? Three, three? Yeah, it's dangerous. I don't know. I don't know. Isn't it? It is. It's pretty weird. A witchy number. A witchy number, yeah. Yeah. I like it. It looks nice on paper. It does, yeah. We're the Outlaws of Rock. I'm Tully Dio. I don't know who With I'm... me is Dubs. Yeah, here we go. I'm something. We're going to do a set. You're Dubs. Yeah. My name is Matt. Yeah. Dubs. dubs Double dubs. M. Dubs. Double um, dubs. Drinking whiskey. Dubs. Um, drinking. Oh, you haven't. Oh. Straight out the bottle? Don't sue me. No, this is my uh, my brother's going away gift. He was like, here, here's some fireball. I'm like, that's okay. <laughs> you gave me a gift. Why? I don't know. It's good. Yeah. It tastes like candy to me. Yeah, it's too candy. Fireball. I'm going to put it away. I'm going to put it away. Because even like, even like rumple mints has like, like it's kind of the same thing because it's more of a liqueur almost. So, but it's got that back end it's so minty that you can't drink too much of it but yeah. uh fireball you can drink a lot of it without going like <gasps> yeah that's the thing it's too, it's too that's sick. what happens when you drink too much liquor it goes down too good uh, too easy. yesterday yes yesterday i had some of this it was actually a sipping tequila not oh, like a shot tequila it was so good but i literally could only sip it because it was so robust. Was it like a mezcal or something? What was it? It was, I can't remember what it was called, but it was the, like, seriously, I wish I could because it was one of the best tequilas I've ever had. And I had two little, just two little sips. Well, I mean, not sips, like little, you know, like just a little bit in the glass. And I was sipping on it while I was like, just talking and smoking a J and oh man, it was good. Sounds good. A little tequila on 4th of July. Yeah, I had Mexican food, so, you know, it's... It's what America's about. Yeah, it is. We're all here together, you know? That's America. That's America. Immigrants. Sharing each other, sharing each other's cuisine. Murder and immigrants. It's, you know... Wasn't, wasn't that your book? <laughs> yeah. It's my historical step into just blood and guts and tacos. <laughs> and tacos. Oh, it's a great read. Gears don't want to say goodbye and ever after low, low rider right now. Check it out.
Low, low rider Driving through the storm It keeps on growling daily Deep down in her soul It frees her from her safety About to lose control low low rider gears don't want to say goodbye the moving lines holding back and cutlass is back oh remember cutlass remember we've been playing that. cutlass for years cool knife cool band they're awesome man yeah yeah cool fi- the bunch of fishers they just go to sit around <laughs> and fish delicious fish out the water and then make beautiful music sounds and just cool. drink whiskey and beer sounds like a cool deal to oh me. man they're just killing it well, and the thing is, this set list has got like kind of a chill vibe. I wanted to do kind of a chill one, and like Cutlass is they got to be included. But this is one of their new tracks called Shepherd. Uh, Cutlass, Shepherd, and Moving Lines holding back right now.
Shepard and the moving lines holding back. We are up to Big Jim's wild card. And this week, it's Hank Waddell, and he sends us stuff every once in a while. And his stuff is so, I always say this word because certain it's such a good way to describe some music is Americana. Oh, yeah. And it's like a, a term that like kind of spans rock and roll and folk. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's, you understand it when you hear it. And this guy does it so well. I'd love to go see him play. Uh, this is Hank Waddell, and there's a bunch of other people on it. I didn't write them on the set list, but it's on the uh, poster and everything that we put out on the website. Right. I mean, the the Instagrams and the and the and the Twitters and the what have yous, the social meats. Yeah, the meat. The social meats and potatoes. Yummy. Uh, Hank Waddell, the rakes of mallow. Big Jim's wild card. <laughs> For episode three, three, three. Once there was a town so sweet with chocolate milk and sugar beet. Majestically, the dancing feet. Hurrah, the rakes of Mallow. Now I look around the town. I search for ghosts that can't be found. All the world is closing down. Where are the rakes of Mallow? Bowing, belling, dancing, drinking, breaking windows, rising, sinking, ever breaking, never thinking. Live the rakes of Mallow. Spending faster than it comes Money doesn't walk, it runs Bacchus, true begotten sons Are the rakes of Mallow Living short but merry lives Going where the devil drives Having sweethearts, never wives Live the rakes of Mallow Your party dress and meet the gang at Mallow. Kaylee, bandits, bikers, malls, cutie pies, and baby dolls. Loads of room for one and all among the rakes of Mallow. Next day you don't feel so hot. Might have been the extra shot. They seem worse or maybe not among the rakes of Mallow. Get home about to die after drinking mellow dry. Why oh why oh why oh why oh why the rakes of mallow? Time to end this wayward life. Take a husband, take a wife, live in rapture, live in strife, and forever dream of mallow. You won't be a rolling stone, there I'll make you feel at home. Not our roads will lead to Rome. Make your way to mallow. Still there is a town so sweet Where my love and I did meet Hand in hand down the street We are the rakes of Mallow Big Jim's wild card. Yeah, I do it just to see if you're paying attention And you always are You've never missed once, I don't think Unless you were like in mid-drink When I got COVID, I did so it, yeah, COVID, you did that, that, that and I was upset, too. Yeah. No, I, what? Oh, you did it. Pull it together. You, you did it for me. That's you nice. still did it. I did do it. You did it for me. I, was like, I don't mind taking up the slack. This is a teamwork thing here, you know? This, you know. It is. On, a, on account of how you can't fill your lungs full of air, I'm going to help you out. <laughs> Thanks. No, every time, brother, every single time. We are up to the rest of the set list, which is songs from past shows that we play again because it's all new music and it's all kick-ass and stellar and a bunch of other great words. 
This is Dylan Sherry, our old buddy Dylan Sherry, who actually has another tune coming out soon. This song is called Stars. And then Aura Davis, So It Goes. Then one more to tie it all together. Wow. Hover with Taking My Time Right Now. It's good. Oh, it's good with headphones. It's a mellow vibe. Get in there in the cans. Just because we're the outlaws of rock doesn't mean we're not mellow. Yeah, someone's got to go to sleep at some point, you know? i 
get it right. Maybe next time it will be all right. I'm taking my life, start it again, yeah. And maybe next time it will. Be Hover, Taking My Time, Aura Davis, So It Goes, Dylan Sherry, Stars. We're up to the last two songs of the set list, which is just the first part of the show. But it's very exciting because it's all new music you never heard before. And if you have heard it, you heard it here probably. It's absolute great stuff. Uh, this is The Midway, I'm Moving On. And then Stand Up Stacy, who we've been playing forever. Uh, something to Believe. Toy Dio Show.
see something to believe the midway i'm moving on that's the end of your set list for episode 333 on this on this 8th of july it's time for tully speaks and uh it's it's you know tell it's i'm speaking today about and it's not legal in every state we're talking about marijuana We've done it before on the show, mm -hmm. but I ventured into new territory here. I actually started growing my own plant for the first time in my life. Totally legal. We're in California and I have my medical card too. I went to a doctor and they gave me a medical card so yeah. I could actually grow like 12 plants or something ridiculous. But like first time I've ever done it. It's pretty fun. Yeah, you're having you're having a blast doing it. You have one. It's sitting I am. On, your, on your porch right now. Your uh, your balcony. Yes. It, thank God it's, it's perfect weather going on. I, you know, knock on wood. But in North Hollywood, right. some good weather to have a, a nice plant. And you have it's a it is a budding plant, correct? It, it is an actual marijuana. Come to find out, it's actually a female plant because oh, really? it has two seeds. Oh. Wow. Yeah. This is great. So we, it was an accident. The person gave it to me as a gift. So I got this plan as a gift and which, which made me even feel more pressure that I can't let it die because sure. someone gave it to me. If I'd have bought it myself, I'd be like, I don't care. Like if someone gives me something though, I treat it like, like it's, you know, like it, like it has own, its own personal security guard. Cause I'm like, I don't want to hurt, break anything someone gave to me. But That's if I great, get it, I'm like, I don't care as much. It's great quality. Um, yeah. Yeah. So like, I'm really trying to take care of this thing. Well, I got like, all I did was, and this is all I needed to do. Okay. So it's out. I live in California. We live in California. Dubs and I both do. It's in a three gallon pot. And all I had to do was buy this really nice potting soil. That's like, it's got like all this weird, like ocean stuff in it, like crushed shells and worm meal or weird shit I never heard of. And then there's this, so you do that, you put it in there, you put it the, the soil and all that in the pot. Then you buy this, like, it's like a fertilizer, but it's like these little granules of like um, nutrients for the plant. And you make what they call a tea. So you just dump it into a gallon of water and let it dissolve. And then whenever you water your plant, you use this water that has that stuff in it. That's it. And then you just got to make sure you don't overwater it or underwater it. That's it though. Then you grow a plant. I really thought now it isn't a lot. It isn't done yet. And this some bitch could die. <laughs> but as of right now, it is, it's just a treat because it's just like, it's not as labor. Uh, um, I didn't, I thought there would be way more to it. And labor that's probably intensive. what, yeah. Like that's yeah. probably what happens when you do like hydroponics and stuff. Sure. Yeah. That stuff is right. Right. No, you're right. Because it's on a water meter, like a water uh, sprinkler type of thing, a spritzer. Yeah, this is just like you are looking at it. You're taking one, taking care of this pet, pretty much what you got. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And it looks and like it's a really, it's cool. It loves where because I've it, never had, I've never had a, a plant live very long. Sure. And. I think it's because, and now I've read, I've done so much, because I didn't know why. And, you know, it's not like you sit there and you're like, as, as just me being me, I'm, I'm, other things are on my mind than my ability to grow, to keep a plant alive because yeah. like trees don't need my help. So I don't right. really botany. Care. Botany is not right. Like right. My botany yeah. skills are like minimal. Yeah, sure. I mean, I get you. Like, yeah. So I started reading about how to take care of this plant on account of how I didn't want it to die because it was a gift. So I know more about it. And one of the things I think I had been doing my whole life with plants is overwatering them. Yeah. Thank you. You know, that's crazy. Because my wife has just recently been telling me this. Because I've been, I've been watering a lot for the last two, three years, you know, just for people taking care of houses, take care of family members. Oh, sure. And the number yeah. one thing is like, Dude, you can't overwater because it. I've seen it. I've seen it with marijuana. And now this goes straight full circle here. If you overwater marijuana, you get rot. And it's yeah. for most plants, though, not just marijuana. 
You get rot. You get, you know. Yeah, you, root rot. Root rot. It's not a metal. That's a metal the name band. of our death metal band. Exactly. It's just the reality. Someone better do it. A botanist death metal band. Yeah. That's all we sing about is botany. <laughs> That's it. It's really hard to make an album. Very We're running out of material. <laughs> But so, so I'm just saying, if you're a, if you're a noob, much like myself, and until this thing matures, which I think is September, I'll keep you guys updated. But like until September, I'm still a noob and I could fail at this. I feel good, but you know, I'm not going to start, you know, high fiving myself yet. But if you're a noob and you're thinking, I'd like to give that a try because it is cost effective too. Um, that's all I needed was the fertilizer. The pot, and you don't need to get one that's three gallons. You can get a smaller one or a bigger one. It all depends on what you, how much room you have and stuff. Right. And then the, and then the nutrients, and huh. then two empty gallon containers that I filled with water, and, and that's that, it. Uh, you have and that. the and the water, yes, yeah, very important. Very important. The the water, what is it called? What's it called? It's the thing you put in. It looks like a temperature gauge on a on yeah, a turkey. It's like a uh, it's pH, the, uh, humidity. Uh, it no. basically tells you, yeah. like you put it all the way in there and it tells you if it needs water or not. So right. you don't have to guess by like putting your thumb on it. or the moisture the reader. It's like a moisture yes. readout. It shows you exactly. Yes, you need one of those. Dry or too wet. And then. Yes, like, you need one. Right, right. You do. Because you that do. is very important. Everyone growing. You'll kill, have one. Yeah, you'll kill your harvest. If you, if it gets root rot, I've seen so you, you got to get one of these things yep. and they're only like, I'm sure you, I actually, I think I saw them at the 99 cent store once. I know I've seen them at target and I got mine on Amazon for like six bucks, but you should definitely get one of those and then give it a try because so far I've had this thing for two weeks and it looks really healthy and I've never had any success with a plant till now. So if I can do it, you use guys can do it. Yeah. No, seriously. You know, I, I forgot about my chili plant and what you're kind of supposed to, this is fucked up. You're supposed to kind of abuse your chili plant. You put sulfur, a lit match inside the, all the way down to the root. And it's, I have like a, it's like a ghost pepper plant. Uh, it's a hybrid, but I kind of forgot about it. I was like, oh shit. And then Kristen, she just does a light mist on everything. But she has a huge garden. She has like I think now 200 plants, 220 plants. Wow. You know, and she, you know, she really takes care of, she's indoor plants, outdoor plants, trees, like you name it. And that was the number one thing. It's like, Matt, I'm like, what? I'm like, there's, there's peppers. You got to cut these guys off. I'm like, what? what's going on? And they're like abundance. I keep on getting like three or four every week. I'm like, and they're good. They're tasty. So it's like, oh, I bet. Over and that was the number one thing. Don't overwater. I, I overwatered them two years ago. I started a pepper plant in COVID and uh, killed it almost immediately. Almost like right off the bat. Rotted it to death. Yeah, I never understood why. Like, I remember like really trying to like, because I wanted some house plants a couple different times in my life. Because why wouldn't you? Yeah. They look great. They do. Um, and they're you. good for you. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I'm like, I'm going to grow. And I just would get so frustrated. That's why I don't have any plants in my house because I got so in the, in the apartment, because I got so frustrated that they just kept dying. Well, now I know why. And yep. now that I have one of those meters, you can just do every plant, Yep. check it. And you're not supposed to leave it in there. I learned. Yeah. Don't. You're not supposed to leave it in. They right. got ruins the needle, I guess. So like, you just can go to every plant and you know. That's a, we're doing a whole plant segment now. It's pretty cool. But it's all right. It's good. <laughs> yeah, because like, you know, these times, it most certainly would not be a bad idea to have yourself a little mini garden. Oh, for sure. Right, chili peppers, marijuana, and, you know, maybe a little tomatoes. Onion. What's that? Maybe some tomatoes. Tomatoes. Yeah. Little cute tomatoes. A little, you know. Uh, yeah, it's a great thing. Carrots. Have. Carrots, you know, oh, little organic carrots. Like you have your own garden. Now you're not getting, you know, a bunch of stuff sprayed on it. But you, yep. you, know, you're, you know, things eating it. I mean, things will eat it. You got to take care of it. Yeah. That's also where, where your garden is matters. And if uh, you're over watering, you're fucking up. That's, that's pretty much the PSA. Here. That'll be the end of your plant. That'll be the end of the harvest this year. Absolutely. You know. 
So yeah, so if you feel like it, if you've been wondering, should I give it a try? I'm saying give it a try. Yeah. And that's uh, that's Tully Speaks. Tully Dio Show, top F and 10. What's cool it what really is. Let's call it what it what? really is. This is. It's a top fucking 10. Let's stop being shot. Ch- what did I say? No, effort. It's just, no, it's not your fault. It's just, oh. it's, let's be, let's be. You just want me here. to say the word? Let's do it. We're not child. We're it's not the kids. top fucking 10, dude. There we go. Like, yeah. and here's the thing. It's the, it's the top fucking 10 because it's that good. Exactly. It's not just the top 10. Right. It's the I'm top fucking, fucking 10. <laughs> And when you hear it, you'll know why I mean that. You'll be like, oh, that was a top fucking 10 right there. Yeah. All right. So starting off the top fucking 10 from episode 333, Crying Club, Bad Day to Be a Zebra. Remember that one? Yeah, that was good. From last week. Yeah, great track. Yeah. Um, Against the Sun. We'll be interviewing those guys in a couple of weeks. Back to Ruin, Garlic Rooster, a new show regular paranoid Mm -hmm. ambitions texas radio with ghost jack mystery with mascara michael four days we've been playing for years turn and fall the psychos of soul like you used to is number four number three emalina with the night we almost got sober number two the stolen moans poo num two and number one again carly jewel the trouble we are that is your top four ten. <laughs> i was trying to do like a whoa but then well, i, I realized i couldn't it's hard to do it's not easy to do i can't do it i just, I just scream it, huh? whether you like it or not that is a skill yeah the pig the pig grow. it's like yodeling it is no really, i don't like yodeling I don't like it. Yodeling and singing. Yeah, for sure. Probably. I don't like yodeling, but I, I'm impressed when people can do it. For sure. For sure. It's not easy. So that was your top 10. That's the end of the show this week. Top fucking 10. I went way PG on it. Top 10. No. Hey. Top 10 doesn't mean anything. As long as you um, get it once, you're allowed to say effing. Because you, at least everyone knows what it stands for. It's not fraggle rocking. It's not... Fidgeted. No, no, not it is not. Freak, but I kind around. of kind of wish it was Fraggle Rocket. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. And Fraggle almost sounds like a swear word anyway. It does sound fucked up. Yeah. It does. Yeah, you fraggled that up. <laughs> yeah. I'm, Stop I'm, fraggling around and get over here. Yeah, that sounds fraggle. dirty. Oh boy. It does. <laughs> Did you guys fraggle? <laughs> <laughs> we did a little bit. Yeah, a, a little, little bit. bit though. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. Sure. Then her parents came home. We had to stop fraggling. <laughs> yeah. Fraggling around. You goddamn kids stop fraggling up there. <laughs> <laughs> We're just eating grilled cheese. You're fraggling. Dad. I don't even know what happened now. I'm off. I'm off. I forgot. It's Got the end it. of the show. It's the end of the show. There you go. Found it. A little talking. We did a little set listing. We did uh, we did a top fucking 10 and we had a good time and we hope you enjoyed pre drinking with us. And yeah, we hope you are going out right now to get drunk. Yeah. You know, I hope you went in the Uber listening to this show and not drove yeah. yourself. So no, no, no. We do not promote dangering yourself and others. We promote good times only. Yep. So you're going to have to put the parameters on that. I can't put, everybody's different. Yeah. We're not I can't say, that. like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't say dubs. No more than six beers tonight, buddy. Because what if, like, eight beers is, like, your start where you're like, all right, now I should start. Stop. I should stop. Yeah. What if I'm I don't know Mugello's, that. You don't know that. If, what if I'm drinking Pacificos? I could drink, like, ten of those. I'd be like, eh, well, where's that shot? You know, you could probably so I'm saying. Me, you drink a couple beers, six buds, and you so know, you just got to make, you just got to set your own, right? You just got to set your own parameters. We're just saying, have a good time. Yep. And we'll be back next week with another set list and more tracks and more talking, interviews, all that fun stuff. Uh, big beers and cheers, everybody! And we will talk to you next week. Tully Dio. The boy.
the zap where senses something's wrong Looks over his back, all he sees is stripes of his old black and white And a patch of two guys swaying in the wind He missed the lioness, obscured by cross He sees too late when the zap press sees her It's too late, she jumps out and he's on his back And she's got his neck
you out. You thought that you were bleeding, but really you were dreaming. That monster chewed you up and spit you out.